Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Luke Ness Monster. Today we do have some Star Wars The Black Series news to go over. Just a short news video. We'll obviously have some more news later this week because this Wednesday is actually Hasbro's next Fan First Wednesday livestream. So there's going to be a ton of news coming out on that day. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out. I will be covering news as soon as it does come out. And uh, yeah, so this is probably going to be the last news video before that day. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. First up, Yakface on his Instagram did post this image, pretty much confirming, of course, that there would be pre-orders uh, during this, like, Fan First Friday or Wednesday live stream. And uh, I thought this was pretty obvious. I mean, we always get pre-orders after these live streams with new products revealed, so I didn't think that was too surprising. But the one thing that caught me here is the Archive logo on screen there. Uh, it's something that I completely forgot about. A long, long time ago now, the next wave of Archive was actually pipelined. This wave is supposed to be Dengar, Skiffguard Lando, the Emperor, and uh, I believe the last one is C-3PO. So this is a pretty solid wave of Archive. I don't really care about C-3PO or Lando, but you know, Dengar and the Emperor are really, really desperately in need for a re-release. So this is awesome for the Archive line. And uh, this pretty much confirms that these th this wave will be going up for pre-order here on Wednesday, Thursday, somewhere in that range, which is really, really cool because it's been a long time since these have been pipelined, and that also means we're going to be seeing official images of these figures. And uh, I'm really excited to see what they do with the packaging because all of the, like, the most recent archive waves have had the 50th anniversary logo on the packaging. And uh, that's just how it's been with like the you know, the last what three, four, five waves of archive. And so I'm interested to see what they'll do with uh, with with the newer packaging, considering that is no longer the 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm. So we you know will they go back to the older archive packaging? Like I'll throw up an example of something like this, or are they going to do brand new packaging? We'll see. I'd love to see some archive in the galaxy style packaging. It's something I'd love to see. You never know. We might get it. We might not. But uh, you never know. They have the opportunity now to change it, so I'd like to see what they do with it, but you never know. They might just go back to the older packaging. Of course, there's also going to be some black, normal black series, not archived, just normal black series and vintage collection reveals and pre-orders during this live stream. And uh, I do have some like mixed emotions on what will come out. So later this week, I'll be doing uh, my predictions on everything I think we're going to be getting at this live stream. So make sure to stick around for that video later this week. But uh, I do have a few theories. Next up isn't really news, but it's something that Yakface did post on his Instagram and it caught my attention. He pretty much stated that as of right now, the rumor for the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV show is that it will be released on May 4th. And so he's pretty much predi predicting that we will be getting some sort of Kenobi Black Series or Vintage Collection figures within the next year. Hopefully that is true considering how long it took for them to get some Book of Boba Fett figures out. I mean, they pretty much announced those figures right as the show started. So hopefully they do that with Kenobi, but we'll see. I don't know. I really want to see some Kenobi figures in the Black Series, though, because I can already tell you the Kenobi show is going to be very popular. Next up, we do actually have images of Black Series Wave 32 in hand. This figure or the, this this wave of figures has not gone up for pre-order yet. It was announced a few months ago, and they kind of just said, "Hey, th these figures will go up for pre-order at a later date." But these figures have actually been found in store at a Target store in Oklahoma, which is very very strange considering, like I said, these figures have not even gone up for pre-order yet. So the fact that they've already been found in stores is very strange. So I initially thought that this was the wave, wave 32, would be the wave that went up for pre-order at the next fan first. Friday, Wednesday, Friday, same thing. It's the next Hasbro live stream, and uh, I, I figured that these would be the figures that go for pre-order. But considering that they're already being kind of found in stores, are they gonna go for pre-order? Are they just gonna go up in stock? And so hopefully, what happens? I'm kind of hoping that these figures just go in stock, and then we also get more pre-orders alongside those. That's what I'm hoping for, but we'll see. I know the same thing kind of happened with Black Series Wave 31. This this wave this wave was never really announced, and it did not go for pre-order. It kind of just went in stock, and uh, so that kind of might be what happens with this one too. Um, we'll see. I don't really know, but I, I'd like to see what they do with it. So yeah, just a shorter news video. I did want to go over those few things, but Black Series Wave 32 in hand is huge. I actually didn't see uh, the two other figures that were in that wave, which is the Client and the Mandalorian Death Watch Trooper. Both of those, I'm guessing, are the le like the less two popular versions from that wave so um i would like to know like what they ship these uh like case varieties wise like how what which ones are the duplicates which ones are gonna have uh 
I guess, a better chance of showing up in stores whenever you go to buy it. So it looks like this guy only bought the, the three most popular ones, which, of course, is Echo, Omega, and Ahsoka. Those are probably the three that I'm going to buy. I'm probably going to get the whole wave, but I'd like to know, like, which ones are going to be... Uh, the most popular ones and how they ship them in the cases because normally a, a case wave is of eight figures so if there's five figures in the wave there's probably two or three duplicates and I'd like to see what they they duplicate in it I also do want to thank all of my active premium members thank you guys so much I do really really appreciate it I actually want to thank all of my members but one of the perks of being a premium member is you get shout outs to the end of videos so thank you guys so much for being members I do really really appreciate it if you guys do want to become a member go down hit that join button it really really helps me out a lot and you guys do get some really cool perks out of it so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video